So let's look at another trans function. Let's see the trans function in this case, Ts is equal to 1 plus s over omega c. Okay, so in this case, um, we know how um, what this s over omega c looks like, right? So at very low frequency, um, yeah, so let's see at the low frequency. So in this case, Tj omega is equal to 1 plus uh, j omega over omega c, right? So if you really do the db, the tj omega, the gain function, and in this case, that's going to be equal 20 log base 10, 1 plus j omega over omega c, and you could do the um, take the amplitude the square the real part and the, the real part square uh, and plus the square the imaginary part and take the root. You can do that, but I think it's more um, uh, it's more beneficial if you think about this. If the so if the omega is much less than see the approximations, omega is much less than omega c. That means the imaginary part almost zero, right? So in that case, so the Tj omega, we can approximate this by 1. So that means the 1 dominates the other parts, right? So at a you know, frequency very high, much higher than the omega, the omega c, in that case, we're going to have, uh, so the Tj omega is, it's going to be approximated by J omega over omega c. So by knowing this, actually in this case, we're going to look at this. So this is, is either 20 log 1, which is 0, 0 dB, when omega is much less than omega c, right? So in this case, if this omega is higher, that's going to be much higher than omega c. And in that case, that's going to be equal this basic trans function we had before, right? So in this case, when the omega much greater than omega c. So let's just draw, uh, draw these two lines. So in this case, let's see if I have, if I have the uh, uh, Tj omega. And so in this case, I'm not going to write that. Uh, the actual uh, function, I just write the Tj omega dB, so we're plotting the gain, uh, gain function here. And in this case, I have two lines, let me uh, change the color maybe. So let's see the first line I have is, uh, let me draw, uh, maybe draw in red. So the first line here is the 0 dB line, so this is a low frequency, right? But I just draw down all the frequency here, just see. And so in this case, I have the uh, this is the 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 one dB. So this is basically the drawing of this term at low frequency. And the other one here is remember that has the 20 dB for this term that has 20 dB. Let me switch to another color. So let's see, I have another 20 dB per decade. So in that case, I have. So let's see. This is the this is the drawing for for the um, uh, j omega over omega c dB. So in this case, this has 20 dB per decade, right? And crossing the uh, the uh, axis, the zero dB line at omega c. So since we are picking up this low frequency, pick up the red one at low frequency and the blue one at a high frequency. So therefore, the approximation is this. The approximation is, uh, maybe I can just draw. So the approximation here is, this is going to be the approximation I'm going to, I'm gonna to use to approximate the the actual drawing is slightly different than because we know, and 
uh, let me change the color back. So because we know at omega equal to omega c, and omega equal equal to omega c, and the t j omega d b is equal to twenty log of one plus j. Right, because omega over omega c equal to one. So one plus j. So in this case, the magnitude of this is square root two. So that's equal twenty log square root two, and this actually is very close to three dB. Okay. So and that here we approximate we the straight line approximation tells us that's a zero dB. So that's the maximum error where the maximum error occurs. Okay, and for the phase, and for the phase, we know the phase angle for the theta omega, theta omega is going to be equal to the phase angle with Tj omega, right? So in this case, at low frequency, since one is dominating, so this should be equal to the phase angle one, which is zero degrees, right? And at when the omega is much less than omega c, and this should be equal to uh, the angle of a j, j omega over omega c if omega is much greater than omega c. And in this case, this would be uh, 90 degrees, right? If the omega is much greater than omega c. So if you plot the the uh, uh, the phase plot. And you would have you start with zero angle, and then you will go to. So you start with zero angle. So this theta. So this theta omega. You start with. So let's see this is omega c. Let's see this is the omega one point ten times smaller than omega c and ten times greater than omega c, and this is the omega. So in this case, at low frequency. You will have so I have two lines. I have 90 degrees. So at a high frequency, let's say at 10 times, that's that's high enough. At low frequency, this is this is low enough. So we we're gonna approximate this one using at low frequency. We're gonna use zero zero degrees. So I, I will draw this straight line approximation here. If I draw the straight line, I go here, and at high frequency, I go to 90 degrees. And in the middle, in the middle, I just draw a straight line. Okay, so in this case, the straight line here and the middle, this uh, this one has 45 degrees per decade, has a slope. So the slope over here, the transition during the transition frequency in the two decades transition um, frequency range. So this is the 45 degrees per decade. And in this case, <clears throat> and here at negative four and uh, omega c here, this corresponds to forty-five degrees. So these are the, our straight line approximation. Let's see what the actual one, the exact plot, really looks like. And I I did plot this in the um, in the Python code, actually including the other plots. So let's see uh, if we uh, we can take a look at this. Take a look at this. So in this case, I, I explain this. I plot it at the omega c equal thousand radian per second, and uh, so in this case, let's look at the exact one. I hope I run the code already. Yes, I did. So in this case, this is the the game plot. So you see here, and I I, I see the cursor probably won't be recorded. You see the blue line here. That's the exact game plot, and the black line, that's the um. Uh, that's the um, uh, that's the uh, straight line approximations for the for the game plot. If you look at the phase plot, I mean the game plot is really close, right? The only the, the only the error we have is at when the uh, omega equal omega c. In this case, is a thousand radian per second. Then we have three dB error. The approximation is three dB less than the actual uh, the uh, game plot. Although everywhere else the small the error is pretty small. Okay.
And as you go uh, further away from the uh, corner frequency, now you can see why we call the omega c as a corner frequency because there we have a corner there, right? And if you also look at the trans function in this case, the, this trans function 1 plus s over a thousand has a zero at s equal uh, at omega equal thousand, right? So in this case, if you hit a zero, so in this case, after the zero, you the uh, slope become 20, um, uh, 20 dB per decade steeper. So that's the one thing we uh, should pay attention to. And if you look at the um, the face plot, and the black line is the straight line approximations, and the blue line is the exact uh, the plot, which very close, right? And so the another trans function is one over uh, one over that function. In that case, the phase plot and gain plot are just the mirror across the horizontal axis, and you can see the plot here. You can also go through the uh, yeah. So you can also go through the um, the math to do this, but it's most straightforward is just a mirror. Um, so in this case, this represents a what we call the low pass filter, right? Because the T max in this case is 0 dB, because at a high frequency we have this uh, 20 dB per decade uh, chain, the, uh, the, the drop or the roll off, sometimes called. And for the uh, for in this case, um, the um, the phase plot has zero uh, phase angle at low frequency again the same as the one we had before, but the at a higher frequency now you have negative ninety degrees. So the transition interval is still two um, or two decades, and in this case, the straight line approximation for the phase phase plot has negative forty five degrees per decade. Okay, we're gonna look at an example in the next video clip and see if um, if we can. Uh, use some of the things we just learned, okay?